Hello everyone. Thank you for joining in. We continue on the theme of healing uh, and today we will talk about uh, healing as the children's bread. So we have a reference to healing as the children's bread in the passage of Matthew chapter 15 verses 21 to 28. Uh, it's the incident when a, a lady who is not part of the covenant or someone who's not uh, a Jewess comes to Jesus and her daughter is afflicted uh, severely by a demon spirit and she reaches out to Jesus. She makes a request for the deliverance of her daughter. Uh, but you know Jesus, we know him as this compassionate uh, person. However, in this situation, you know, he uh, is quite stern and uh, he reveals to her that uh, he has only come for the sheep of the house of Israel and uh, you know he he says something like um, the bread cannot be given to the dogs uh, but what he was trying to tell her and what she actually understood uh, in those times you know I'm sure she uh, got it right away what Jesus was trying to tell her so basically what Jesus was saying is that you know here is a lady who is in need but she's outside of the covenant so uh, even if Jesus wanted to it was uh, difficult for him to release that healing that or deliverance which he was looking for however look at the faith of of this uh, lady in verse 27 of Matthew 15 she says, yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Okay, so uh, she extends her faith to Jesus and, uh, you know, she says, okay, this children's bread, which you're talking about, children's bread, who are the children, the, the Jews or the people of the covenant are the ones uh, who, who have this bread, which is healing. But this woman extends her faith and says, Lord, even the dogs can have the crumbs. And, and then, you know, Jesus goes on to commend her faith and says, oh woman, great is your faith. And then you know, there's a release of that power and her daughter is delivered. So the point that we gain out of this incident is that when we are in the covenant, Jesus said that healing is the children's bread. Now we know that earlier those who were see a, the seed of Abraham were part of the covenant. However, now each one of us who believe we are part of the better covenant that Jesus has accomplished for us. So now that you and I as believers are part of the covenant, the children's bread belongs to us. We are the children and the bread that Jesus talked about was healing and deliverance or the power of God to set us free, the power of God to bring wholeness to every part of our being. So friends, I just want to encourage us, the, the power of God is available for us to receive by faith. All we have to do is to press in by faith, just the way uh, uh, this lady, she, she didn't let go of Jesus, but she extended her faith, she demonstrated her faith by what she said. And you know, Jesus was so pleased with her and said, great is your faith, you know, uh, you will receive the deliverance and her daughter was healed. Uh, and even as we extend our faith right now, I believe that God's power is being released into each one of our bodies and souls. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that the uh, children's bread is ours, God. And Father, we just claim it in the name of Jesus. And Father God, uh, Lord, thank you that we are children of the covenant. And God, that uh, healing will be made manifest, God, uh, in our bodies. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.